freshest back. Do the shake it back. And put the freshest back. Get away. Do the shake it back. And put the freshest back. Do the shake it back. And put the freshest back. When your cup smells fresh, your room does too. Every time you vacuum, you remember what to do. Do the shake it back. And put the freshest back. Do the shake it back. And put the freshest, the freshest back. Okay, so clearly you're synonymous with hoovering then, is it? Yeah, yeah it's gonna actually okay, we all used to hoover like so much. <laughs> yeah, like it was like it was like the thing, like, thing like where you hoover the whole entire house and then your mom's friends come over and they're like, Oh, Susanna, you did a great job in the house, but we actually cleaned it. Yeah, we used to do like so much cleaning. We used to clean our room and we used to clean it all because we used to always let the dogs into our house and it'd be like crazy. Yeah. And, and like I remember our this mom is lies, I, isn't it? No, it's not no. lies. I remember our mom got cream carpet and it was like full on like I mean, that's like just like putting paper on the ground, like you're basically you, it gets real dirty. Yeah, like we did a lot of cleaning. Like it wasn't just normal cleaning. It was like we used to make our room look showroom standard. Yeah, you knew what the, the future held. You yeah. knew you had to have a start. Well, it was really bedroom. weird because there's, there's different types of cleaning because there's that type of cleaning where you get loads of dirt in your room, but you organize it in different neat piles, but it's still not clean. So you need to get rid of it all. Do you do the sniff test with the clothes? Kind sniff of two, two or three day old. Yeah, I know. I hate when you do that. And you, Can and I get another day out of this? And sometimes it could it could be like a top, and you know it's dirty, and you just still smell. It. You're like. Oh my well, god, I shouldn't have gone like, there. You get those tops that you just dirty, and then it, it, it's like a really, really clean top, but you just like drop something on it, and then it's like all ruined. <laughs> Can I call something? The Midweek Show. <laughs> Tell <Tammy, laughs> me, um, is it true you guys are going to go nude for pizza? Is it true? Well, in, a lot, in most of these fashion things, you can't actually reveal if it is true because if it does come out, um, they, if you say, yeah, it is true, then when it comes, then it won't make it exclusive. So no comment. You're not going to give us a sneak preview? No. Are you sure? Um, da, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> no. We're like 18. Yeah, we're 18. We're innocent. Yeah, yeah we don't you're, do not in, you're innocent, in my eye. Um, what no, is we are innocent. The, what, what is the story <laughs> with you two guys? Now, you've got loads and loads of female fans who'd be dying to go out with you. Is there any yeah. girlfriends? Yeah, no, I think it's kind of crazy because our fans are so dedicated and they're so out there. And like every single time they come up to us, like they're, they're like, they go, like, they're cra crazy. They're like shouting and everything, going crazy. Would but you then go out I with always, any of them? Yeah, but I always go out and I always go, I always go, everyone just chill. We go out with them. Yeah, I think we would because I think that uh, Kevin Jonas and the Jonas Brothers, he went out with one of his fans and now he's married to them. So I think in a, in a way they're like interested in you, so they could be your girlfriend. I think I think we know we have weird, thousands because, of girlfriends. Like, imagine you've had a fan as a, a friend like, as as your girlfriend or like whatever, like you it got with them or something. Like it'd be kind of weird. Like it's like I would you go with each like, other on a date, like, by the way? Like really? are you ever apart? Yeah, really? I, think, I think we would because I think we wouldn't let girls well, like, separate that's what I'm us. Thinking. Like what if a girl asks out John and he says no, and then she comes to me and, and I'm like, it's like, but like, how would like you, you know? How would you know? If, like, <laughs> if she asked, how she if she asked me, and then I said no, and then she went for John, and then I'd be like, John, I said no, and then John would be like, Tell me, is um, Victoria Beckham a big fan of you guys? I think she is. And do you have her phone number? Um, it's kind of crazy because we had her phone and we had everybody's number on, like everybody. Like Cheryl all calls. the biggest stars ever. It was ever. actually crazy. Like, we're do you know when you got like loads of all these famous people numbers? Like, do you have any famous people numbers on your phone? No, but you always kind of go, I won't three. call, it's like, I won't call them. But then when you lose the number, you're like, damn, I wish I called them. So you didn't call her? Then, not just her number. Did you text her? <laughs> Blackberry Messenger. <laughs> Your Blackberry Messenger. Yeah, what did you say? It's kind of crazy because we we lost. She has a really cool dog. But it's kind of crazy because we, lo we lost our Blackberry and, and like we don't have any of those numbers anymore. So all these celebrities, they're all safe now, knowing that John aren't, aren't going <laughs> to ring them. What about Cheryl Cole? What's she like? Yeah, I think she's really cool. It's kind of weird the way like the, the press and everything like zone in. Like remember it was like us and the X Factor and it was yeah. like John Edward, John Edward. And there was like Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Cole. It's kind of weird because like all the newspapers are for like comic books and you're like a character. And then yeah, like, she's like character. Like right now we're like a character in a comic book. You know when you open it, it's all like, oh my God. It's like blah, 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 blah. And then the headline and then you like read it. Then it goes, yeah, on, yeah, confirmed. I think Cheryl Cole's actually yeah. ultimate legend. Like, yeah, she's actually so reality. cool. She's really she's, nice. She's so A-game. Like she's got this really, really cool hair and she's just like, and she's got like a lovely hey. smile. So I was like, Hey Johnny, she always gives That's a so hug. weird because sometimes she goes in for like a hug and then yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, no, like so it's just, okay, she always comes and gives and gives a hug. This like it's like she turns her cheek. She always turns her cheek for us to give us a kiss, and if we always miss the cheek. <laughs> we're always, we're always, we're always going to go out there and like kiss her cheek, but, but she always kind of. And then we're always, we're always kind of like, oh crap, did it? <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Because it's different over here because like sometimes over here, like in the UK, loads of girls go in for the cheek, but over here it's more like a hug. And then over there we're so used to like giving hugs that when a girl goes in for it, you're like, oh crap, I should like kiss her. <laughs> did you ever meet Ashley, by the way? 
have we ever met him? Yeah, I remember this one. Okay, the, on the second week of times. Diva Week, Whitney Houston was in the room next door to Cheryl Cole, and I went to Cheryl Cole's room. And I was knocking on the the <laughs> I was knocking on the the wall, and Whitney Houston thought it was her. And then I went down and told Ashley, and he was like, he was like really, he's like really, he's like really, he's, not, he's the same height as us. Yeah, is he like he's to smaller be nice than us. Or? He's got like, he's the, really the first time I, I think I think we met him a couple times. I remember I was at a coffee machine. I looked to my left, and I was like. Hey Ashley, and then my, my, my brother, he's a fan of Chelsea, so I got his autograph. It's so weird because so I remember. Do you think they'll get back together? Uh, no, no, I don't know if John's in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, this one's gonna say, okay, I remember the first time, because anyway, Ashley, it's, I know it's like a, a girl guy name, but the first time I heard it was Ashley Cole, and then I was like, is that a girl's name? How many coffees did you have before you came in here? We don't drink anyway. coffee, or we don't drink any fizzy drinks. Nothing dodgy. Or, I, know, yeah, I know what the showbiz world is like. It didn't have anything you know, a bit funny before you came in. so weird. No. No. Did no, you? No. Because <laughs> you, you look as if you're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, Crystal Swing. What do you think of Crystal Swing? Oh, Crystal Swing. Well, I think I've only seen them once because we watch Ellen DeGeneres and I saw them on Ellen DeGeneres, so that's kind of cool that they were on Ellen DeGeneres. And I always want to go on Ellen I, don't, I, don't really, I haven't really followed them, so I can't really analyse if they're good or not. Oh, come on. Give me it's an actually answer. So cool. Good, like, good or not? Thumbs up or not? Crystal and Swing. Like, they must like, yeah, like cool. when, how do they come oh, up You're not going to say they must swing. Oh, they're cool. I think they What's busted it. I think no, they busted it really cool on an Algenerate. Crystal swing. Like, it could be in a crystal and it was swinging around and they go, well, let's call it a crystal swing. Yeah, that's something really cool. Like I don't know. And um, what about Eurovision? Cool. Are you going to do Eurovision? Yeah, I'll, 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 I just want to do okay. Yeah, let's do Eurovision. This year, we're like too late to do it. So, so I want to do the results. So it's like John Edward. Yeah, and, and, and the Dublin. Do one. Do, do, do. And, and 12 points to Irlande or something like or that. Like, yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> Um, what about um, the new album? What's it going to be like? We did a photo shoot for like um, a week and a half ago, and it's it's spread in one of the magazines. Let's well, come out the sixth of July. No, no, it was for the album. The pictures look really cool, and it was so make... weird because like usually we're on these photo shoots, but then you don't know because like we're so used to like we're. we're what are you looking at? Okay. We do like all these fashion shoots that it's different being a pop star and then a model. So you like have to, it's like sometimes you're like really poser and then sometimes you'd realize this is like a CD. It's not like a, it's like an expert for like a so campaign. So it gives a posy look, a kind of a blue steel look there. Wait, now what camera are we doing? Well, no, a lot of people kind of, I never knew camera the blue steel. Camera okay. two. Give us blue steel into camera two. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's it's kind of because Brian yeah. Friedman, you know Brian Friedman, the Wait. dancer, he taught us how to do this. Like we're kind of, yeah. Oh, and then pop stars that? like, yeah. Pop stars. Ah, well. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm actually, no, no, don't drink it yet, okay? Don't All these it. glasses are perfectly measured out the water. Yeah, like someone has to, that's our job How to make sure. How did you notice that? I don't know, I just saw it. I think it's a skill. Oh my God, I'm drinking your one. Have you drank out of it yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're going to get I talk about, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Who wants I know, okay. I remember at the end of one of the X Factor shows, do you know where the judges all have their cups and they drink out of them? Yeah. The night after the show, Cheryl Cole's cup had lipstick on it. And who drank out of it? <laughs> you put it did you put it up on eBay? No, I just drank out of it. All right. So that so means you, so you could say you drank out of the same jacket. Did you just not her? Well, it was just like lipstick on the rim. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, Louis Walsh had one more.